Hello guys, in this video we're going to make a subroutine that could print integers. So in a previous video we made a subroutine that could print strings, such as hello world. But w this video I'm going to show you how to make a subroutine that will print an integer, such as if the REX register is holding the value, let's say 489, you can actually tell it to print that out and it will print 489 onto the screen. So before we do this, I want to create a new file, let's call it um, test.asm, nano test.asm. So I want to correct sort of a, um, something I didn't mention. Before I showed how like, if you move into the REX register 24, then move into RBX2, then div RBX, the value of RAX will become 12. I showed that in a previous video. However, I didn't mention that the RDX register has an effect. If the RDX register isn't zero, then the RDX register will be concatted onto the RX reg RAX register. So they are both 64-bit registers, but they will act as a 128-bit register together, and then that will be divided. So if you don't want the RDX register to do this, then before you do ever use the div instruction, move into RDX 0, or else you will end up with an unexpected result. And I also didn't mention that after the division is finished, the RDX register will hold the remainder of um, the division. So the RDX register holds the remainder of the division. So now let's actually start working on our code. So, um, section.txt, global start, this is what we always start with, start. So I want a, simply a subroutine where if I say something like move rex 123, then call print rex, that should print 123 to the screen. Now, move rex 60, move rdi 0, syscall that just exits so to do this the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to open a section dot BSS I'm going to create a digit space where I want to reserve bytes 100 we're going to reserve 100 spikes bytes remember in the other video I had the print rx digit method this is going to this is going to be have some compar comparability to that except we're going to be printing out many digits instead of just um, one digit. So then we're going to have digit space position reserve byte 8. I'm reserving byte 8 because that um, 8 bytes that's enough for 64 bits so that's enough space to hold the value of a single register so this should be RAX60. So let's actually start working on our print RAX subroutine. So the first thing I want to do is move into RCX digit space. Um, one thing I want to tell you is our subroutine is at first is going to uh, break down the digit backwards and we want a new line character at the end. So if it breaks it down backwards and um, the end would actually be the beginning. So I'm going to the digit space is where we're going to actually store our string that we got to print out of our digits. So move into RBX 10, which is a new line, then move into RCX as a pointer, RBX, ink RCX, then move into digit space position, RCX. So digit space position uh, keeps track. So our digit space is where we're actually storing the string. Our digit space position keeps track of how far along that string we are. So we start not far along, we start at digit space, which is not, which is exactly at the beginning. Then we move a new line character into it, then we increment digit space position. So now we've inserted a new line character, then we've incremented our position forward by one. Now we're going to have print rex loop. What we're going to do is we're first going to move rdx0, move rbx10, div rbx, 
So remember how I said uh, RDX gets concatted onto your div? So that's why I'm setting it to zero, just so it doesn't mess up my division. Um, so move into RBX10 and divide um, RAX, RAX, which currently holds, remember, RAX currently holds this value, 123. So we're going to divide it by 10. Then what we're going to do is we're going to just store the value of RAX for now. And then we're going to add to RDX 48. So why am I doing this? Because if I divide 123, 123 divided by 10 is going to be equal to 12 remainder 3. So that's the important part. The remainder is 3. The remainder is this last digit right here. So when I divide REX by RBX, the last digit is now an RDX. So I add that last digit to 48 to actually convert it to a character. We we'll call back to our print REX digit um, subroutine. So then what I'm going to do is increment the digit space position. Move RCX digit space position. Move, oh, I'm also going to move into, um, RCX DL, the lower eight bytes of RDX. That will just load the character that we just, um, got into, uh, our digit space. Then I'm going to, um, increment RCX. Then move into digit space position RCX. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our RAX value back, pop RAX, <coughs> and remember we've divided this by 10, so I'm going to compare RAX to 0, and if it's not equal to 0, then we're going to print RAX loop. We're going to just repeat this loop. So we're going to keep on dividing this. Essentially what we're doing is we take 123, we divide it by 10, which gives us 12 remainder, I'll just put a big R, 12 remainder 3, then we store, store 3. So we store our remainder, which is 3. Now we take the 12 and divide that by 10, which is going to be equal to 1 remainder 2, then we store the 2, because that's a remainder, and now we take this 1 and divide it by 10, and we're, that's going to be equal to 1 remainder. So it'll be equal to 0 remainder 1, so we're going to store the 1. Now, now our answer is actually a 0, so we're done. But as you can see, the, num the remainders we've gotten at that we've been storing, we've gotten 3, 2, 1, and the number is 1, 2, 3. So we've basically gotten the number backwards. So now let's go to down here. So now we're going to have a second loop, print rex loop 2. Now in this loop, I'm going to move into rcx, um, digit space position. Now I'm going to move into rex1, move into rdi1, move into rsi, rcx move into RDX1, then syscall. So I'm going to print one character at digit space position, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into RCX digit space position, then decrement RCX, then move into digit space position RCX. So now after I moved forward getting our number, I'm going to move backwards printing out the characters because as I told you the characters come in backwards so if I move forwards getting them backwards and I start going backwards printing them out that would print them out forwards so now I'm going to compare RCX to digit space so basically if the digit space position is equal to digit space then where that's the beginning of the um, string so that that means we're done printing out characters now, jump greater than or equal to print rex loop. So if it's greater than or equal to digit space, then we're going to print.
print RX loop 2, then return. Now, I'm going to save this NASM-F L64 test.asm-o test.o. So we got a syntax error at line 37. Um, let's see, where is line 37? Line 37. J and E underscore print rex loop. Oh, there should not be a comma here. Let's exit there. Now let's try it again. Okay, it worked that time. Um, LD test o dash o test. As you can see, it prints out 123. Now let's change this to something like 1337. Compile it, link it, 1337. So as you can see, we can now print out integers 